welcome back here to the local vibe, or should we say cheers? <laughs> yeah, we're cheers. kicking off our next half hour at Cheersing uh, with our new guest who's previewing a popular event that's returning to the area. The 19th annual Festa Italiana is happening this weekend. It's back at Raffaldini Vineyards in Wilkes County, and it's not too late to grab those tickets. All right, well, joining us now is the owner of the Raffaldini Vineyards, Jay. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. I look forward to it. Yeah, so for someone who has never been to this event, what can they expect during Festa Italiana? Well, the event is really a way to celebrate all things Italian, so it's so much more than wine. And when you come there, there's, of course, there's wine, but there's food, there's music, there's art, a lot of vendors that's showing the wear that typically have an Italian flair for them, as well as uh, vineyard tours. We talk about winemaking and why we chose this area and what makes this part of North Carolina so special for growing grapes. But it's really a, meant to be a total immersion of all things Italian. Being Italian, it would make sense, right? <laughs> <laughs> it does make sense, too. Uh, Jay, is this a family-friendly event? Yeah, it is. And, and, and that's really so much more than wine, right? So we have games, we have art, we have bingo, but we also have things that are really, really designed to incorporate the totality of of life because really what uh, what makes an Italian family so special is they're always doing things together right and this is a way to you know exhale unplug and just spend the day and enjoy the family and do this all the all the things we have on offer on the property Jay 19 years is a long time too um, to hold an event like this for our community so what was the inspiration to bringing it to the area and were you a part of that yeah, well, uh, growing up in the New York, New Jersey area, one of the highlights for any Italian is what they call the San Gennaro Festival, and this is held in Little Italy, New York, and it's actually the, the, the third week in September, and it's it's a joyous time in Little Italy when everybody sort of goes there, and you have the food, the wine, the culture. It's really just a wonderful, wonderful week, and I wanted to bring that experience to North Carolina on the vineyard. So the idea was, let's recreate the San Gennaro Festival with the Raffle Vini flair to it. And it's just grown exponentially. The first year we did it, we expected 100 people. We had 300. I think we'll probably do close to 2,000 this weekend. And there's only 450 people in the town. So we just kind of really take over the, <laughs> the Italian town. So it, it's a wonderful experience. Yeah. It sounds like it. And we know that that area is filled with a lot of great wineries, especially. Mm -hmm. but. Can you speak to more what makes your business so unique? You started about 25 years ago, is that right? Yeah, I did. At the time, I, there was not many vineyards around. I'm not from North Carolina, so the reason I came down here was because North Carolina has a tremendous history of growing uh, grapes to make wine. In fact, before Prohibition, North Carolina made more wine than California. We actually sent wine to California. And Prohibition was such a major setback for the region. And now, since they... Uh, uh, after Prohibition, North Carolina went from making wine to, you know, uh, making making tobacco. And then as soon as the tobacco was sort of edged out because of the regulations, the wine industry exploded. And that was the year that I actually bought in and started, you know, had, had this abandoned piece of property. And, and we've grown from 10 vineyards, like 160. And I think in five years, we'll probably have about 300. So this area is perfect for growing grapes. And for me, it was, you know, it was unknown territory. So I could have gone anywhere, could have gone to Napa, Sonoma, Italy to uh, mm -hmm. plant my, my vineyard, but I wanted North Carolina because I think the potential here is quite extraordinary to make some beautiful wines that are national level recognition. It certainly is a, a beautiful property on top of that as well. We only got about 30 seconds left, Jay. Are any uh, quick events that you would like to share with us? Yeah, we're always having events because there's so much more than wine. Uh, well, we do uh, olive oil tasting. We have wine and cheese pairings. We have seasonal dinners. We have a lot of Italian uh, type of games. So the point is that, you know, even in a wine-obsessed culture like Italy, it's just part of the part of the story. And really the main thing is to drive people there to just relax and enjoy the people that you're with and that you care the most about. So it just sounds that. like a really wonderful time. I know. <laughs> yeah. Jay, thank you so much for your time this morning and everyone at home. The 19th annual Festa Italiana is this Saturday and Sunday. Guests can visit Ralph Vineyards in Ronda on either day. Tickets start 
at $15 to $20 online, but if you wait till the day of, the price will go up to $30. Just be aware. Glad we're